Hi guys, right now I just want to explain to you what I have done so far and I have created a simple component with the name first extended from react.component. Within this component I have created a render function for rendering the elements that are written within this return statement and after that I am exporting this component and accepting this component within this entry.js file. I am uh, calling out this component and storing it within this variable and rendering that component out on this element and this is being printed within this div. So that's been said now I just want to carry on with this component topic I just want to create multiple components nesting components that how we can uh, work along with it so I have just one component right now with the name first and I want to create another component let's say I want to let's say I want to copy this one and paste it below I want to change its name let's say I want to change its second and that will also be extends from react dot component and it has a render function and within the return statement I just want to change the message to second component right now I'm just exporting out this first component and that component will be used within this entry.js file I don't want to change this export statement instead I want to add the message the elements that are written within the second components to be executed from within the first component means I want this first component to become the parent of this second component so how can I print this h1 message that is written within this second component I'll come just after this first component h1 element and I will write the name of my second component forward slash and and the tab I want to save this one let's go to our browser and you can see the first component message and second component message are printed so this is how I am nesting the second component within this first component in this case I don't need to explicitly export the second component because second component is already being used uh, from the first component I can also add as much component as I want and I can add a multiple layers of components let's say I want to copy the second one again paste it right here and I want to change the name of it to third let's say I want to change it to third component now if I save it and go back you can see nothing is printed because rather I need to export this one and uh, or I can add this third component along with the second component so let's say I want to copy this one and paste it right here and I want to change its name to third same as the name of this component let's save this file let's go to our browser you can see that component has been added now the second component and third component are both the children of this first component I could remove this third component addition from the first component and add that within the second component alright let's save this file and go back the same message has been printed now what's the difference uh, that I added the third component within the first component um, right now the third component is child of second component and second component is child of first component means the third component is grandchild of first component because third component is added uh, within the second component so this is how we can nest our components as much as we want we can create multiple layers we can create any kind of structure uh, next I want to talk about props that are also used within the components that has uh, very flexible benefits uh, from within these multiple components so before that make sure subscribe my channel and like this video